Hey, Gary here with you day 22. We're going to jump right into Google Search Console because the thing here that we're doing in day 22 is realizing that there's a lot to work to do just to start seeing what it is we want to see. Of course, we go into achievements. You can still see we're still gathering data. Please check back in about 14 days. But we go back and we look at the things that we've accomplished so far with our new content. And of course, we should be creating more content. We've created the 25 posts so far under astronomy basics then we moved on to cosmology basics and i am going to go in and continue under the big big bang theory and move on from big bang theory overview into big bang theory evidence so i'm going to go ahead now here and copy that over and move that over and i will start on that blog post and i'll have that ready for you tomorrow with a breakdown of everything i'm doing there the thing i want to move on today is back inside of ga4 and google analytics one of the reports or as i was looking at the reports one of the reports that i think we will be spending a lot of time on or the one that really goes and shows us what i'm used to seeing under sessions and page views is this one right here and then I want to show you this cool little thing I learned because here is the thing and I'm going to change this rows from rows per page to 50. One of the cool things that you're going to do during the case study as we're working through this, we are going to learn so much. So as you are doing, or at least as you're watching along with me, you will have the opportunity to take this and do it yourself and learn so much. And that is going to start here with simply first and foremost highlighting all this and simply copying it because you guessed it we're going to go back to chat gpt and then we are simply going to paste all that in and then when you paste all that in this is what it looks like I already had this chat with chat gpt but this is literally just the pasted in information and then chat gpt takes this and summarizes it for you now you could look at all this and you could do these same types of summaries and stuff inside of ga4 but this is taking it in my opinion, the next level of chat GPT, because you are at this point now, you are feeding raw, real live data from the things that we've done up to this point in these 22 days and what Google has seen from the content that we've created and then posted up on Google blog or up on Groove blog for Google to rank and index. Now it has given me a summary. So then I can take that summary information and then I can start asking it questions. Like, can you tell me other posts I should make based on this data? Now understand that this data is still so new. Of course, Google told us we still need to wait for our achievements to kick in or for it to be able to tell us if we've achieved anything other than what we have achieved, which is creating the content and getting it posted and getting it indexed and of course ranking. But now I'm asking ChatGPT to take this data and say, based upon this data that I pasted in from GA4, Google Analytics, give me some more information or give me some other ideas on posts that I create. And then you can read here, based on the data provided, it seems that users are interested in astronomy related topics, especially those that are beginner friendly and provide useful tips. Here are some suggestions for new posts. Now understand we are at the early stages, so this will be more powerful as the days continue to go on. Of course, as the days turns and days turns into weeks, and the weeks turn into months, and the months turn into years. But then I took that and I said, based on what you know so far, who is my target audience? Then it literally breaks it down based on the data provided and the nature of the content on your website. Your target audience appears to be individuals interested in astronomy. Now, this is going to be where you find, or this is what I think is going to happen, is as Google Analytics starts tracking more of the types of posts that we post. For example, right now we have astronomy basics, and under that we have phases of the moon. Then we're going for cosmology basics, and then we're going to add in the Big Bang Theory. And then I'm getting my koala credits back tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow is May 7th. Today is May 6th. So then when we fill in this information or we start creating those new posts around fun facts, maybe one of those will hit and then we'll start getting more data and then we'll be able to see how this changes as far as our target audience by taking that Google Analytics information or that data and feeding it back into ChatGPT. But I moved on with this conversation and I asked it, can you give me other websites that target this audience? Of course, remember that the data here is like dated to 2021. So it's not real-time data, but it has been linking and using this information, or this is 
where it's been getting its information, its body of knowledge that's been fed to the AI, ChatGPT, is specifically using the information from these websites and other sources that has been fed, not just these websites. It, it's not just a scraping tool. So it's taking any other data that's been fed to it. Now, I moved on and I said, what about adding the topic of cosmology? And this is just to reinforce my thought process because astronomy versus cosmology and the research and the articles that I've read from the AI that it's written so far, it made me think that cosmology fits. So I asked it, what about adding the topic of cosmology? Adding cosmology as a topic on your website can be a great idea as it expands your content scope and attracts an even wider audience. Cosmology is a study of the origin, evolution, and eventual fate of the universe, and it can be a fascinating subject for both beginners and experienced astronomer enthusiasts. Astronomy enthusiasts. So you can see that I'm staying on point with that target audience even as I move into cosmology. But then I move on to my chat and I say, based on this chat, can you give me ideas for prompts? And now I'm asking ChatGPT to give me a prompt so I can get more information based upon the fact that we've identified the audience based on the real-time data from Google Analytics. And then ChatGPT, my good old chat buddy said, certainly here are some prompts to help you generate content for your astronomy and cosmology focused audience. And you can see here, write an introductory guide to the Big Bang Theory for beginners. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take this and paste this in here and hit enter and see what it comes up with as far as this part about the Big Bang Theory, a beginner's guide to the birth of the universe. And then take that back here to the post we've written so far, the Big Bang Theory overview and the Big Bang Theory evidence. And then go back into the cosmology basics here. Of course, we were looking at the 30 semantically relevant topics under the main categories cosmology basics. The first one being the Big Bang Theory. And we have these 10. Overview, evidence, timeline, criticisms, alternatives, histories, discoveries, visualization, misconceptions and implications. I think maybe that might fit under the blog post I wrote here using the keyword Big Bang Theory Overview, Unraveling the Mysteries of the Universe, a comprehensive overview of the Big Bang Theory. What it wrote here based upon the prompt that it gave me, again, I asked ChatGPT to help me and give me a prompt to create more cosmology and astronomy focused information or blog post for my audience and it gave me this prompt and then it wrote out this prompt with an introduction and then it goes into these things that would be interesting to the audience that we now know is focused or is a focused audience based upon the real analytics that we're getting from Google inside of GA4 just by simply copying and pasting it. Of course, all this takes time. We are on day 22, but we will continue to do this type of stuff. And before we go, I want to show you where I got this information. This actually came from AI Prop Science, a channel. This chat GPT and Google Analytics ways to efficiently leverage chat GPT for analytics. You can see here he was using chat GPT 3.5. I was using four, but he literally did this and he pasted this in. I'm going to leave the link in the description. You should watch this video because he had a slightly different conversation and I typically don't have the exact same conversation when I watch these types of videos, but follow along, link in the description, check that out. And if you want to follow his conversation exactly, I recommend that, but also recommend you just having your own conversation and seeing where it goes. Cause he also has a tool that I'm going to cover later on. Cause remember a big part of this journey each day is not just banging out content with the AI. That is important. We do need to keep creating at least one blog post every day to get to the goal of 100 blog posts over 100 days, or that's my intended goal is to have 100 blog posts or more. But also we're learning about Google Analytics. We're learning about our topic. There's no way you can't or you need to be learning about your topic as you edit it to get a better feel for what's working and what's not based upon the analytics, based upon the conversations you're having with the AI, and based upon what you see and what you learn as you spend the time doing what it is we're doing. And that is building a blog, letting the AI assist us. If you got any questions, ask them in the comments or let me know what you think about where I'm headed with this. Also give this video a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.